हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड बिगिनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन फ्रॉम हॉर्न बिल चैप्टर नंबर सेकेंड वी आर नॉट अफ्रेड टू डाई इफ वी कैन ऑल बी टूगेदर बाय जॉर्डन कुक एंड एलन इस्ट सो हियर Uh, in this video we will uh, think about the next part of the lesson listen it carefully i will just uh, take the recap of earlier things that we have discussed about decision making all the life skills which are required for the all benefits team work so many things we have discussed then we have started here author introduce uh, characters in the first passage about the family members then previous also some references given uh, how here captain as a captain uh, he practiced uh, then about the way walker we have discussed uh, then journey so at the actual journey also we have discussed in that uh, previous concern with the previous year um, 1 lakh 5000 km journey passed pleasantly so here 1 uh, lakh more than 1 lakh means not so easy task to do and then they have taken the crewmen at crewmen's also reference uh, we have discussed and now we will move ahead and now the situation is in the southern uh, indian ocean and that is the most uh, toughest and uh, roughest weather here author is narrating in that way so we will proceed with the next what happened on our second day out of cap town we began to encounter strong gales so here uh, strong winds uh, gales means the winds uh, author here or the captain is observing that and here we started began to encounter that such type of strong uh, winds uh, for the next few weeks they blew continuously and the next few weeks also uh, the situation was same and you can observe if the cyclone or such type of strong winds if it would be there in the ocean uh, we feel that now uh, something we have to take care of ourselves then we may arrange all that things and all the concern things uh, we will arrange and we may uh, send message Uh, to the rescue teams also or the whatever the alerts uh, we would get we may uh, give in advance all the information so here for the next few weeks they blew uh, continuously gales uh, didn't worry me but the size of the waves was alarming up to 15 meter as high as our main mast means if we are thinking about the sea the topmost part of that uh, sea and that is the in vertical sense to balance all that things that is the mast and here uh, waves waves uh, alarming waves here 15 meter means uh, here if we will uh, think that means around 45 uh, feet waves if such type of waves you are observing means the wind uh, gales means here the strong wind or the gales and uh, along with that um, the waves of the ocean and that height of the waves it is uh, too much especially here it is mentioned 15 meter 15 meter means too much height and because of that uh, there would be problem afterwards so here the condition it is like this then december 
uh, found uh, us 3,500 kilometer east of the Cape Town, despite atrocious weather. So here, atrocious weather. Uh, this also uh, the weather condition. Atrocious means is also the condition. It is alarming condition, a very dangerous condition. Such type of uh, condition, atrocious weather. We had a wonderful holiday, uh, complete with a Christmas tree. And you can understand that uh, December 25th, December 25th means December month and it's the last week of the December means the Christmas celebration, all things here, uh, narrator is or the captain is trying to tell about that New Year's Day saw no improvement in the weather. In the New Year's Day also, there was no improvement in the weather. Then. Uh, one more thing here, but we reasoned that it had to change soon and it uh, did change for the worse. Means here they were expecting, means the captain along with others, they were expecting that there would be change in the weather, but it changed in the worse. Means the situation again deteriorated, become a bad situation. Means here more than that the word is means bad or worst like that here the word worse is also used means more uh, situation it is now become critical situation we can understand and then as down on uh, january 2nd means here a narrator is saying about the new year means the first day now the second day uh, sec means second january what are the things here the waves were gigantic means uh, gigantic waves or alarming waves or uh, with along with the strong gales so you can imagine that 15 uh, meter vertically suppose that waves are coming towards you you can imagine I means so the height of the <coughs> any room or if you can observe that 15 uh, feet but here 15 meter means you can understand such type of waves are rolling towards you uh, and you have to be courageous that adventure spirit and to fight with that such type of weather it is uh, very uh, tough but uh, earlier situation means here uh, captain he practiced in such type of uh, situations in different different roughest weather in the British uh, waters it means he shared with us his hard work and experience and practice for all means suppose if we will take the example of Sachin Tendulkar he used to do the net practice means even though he was the master master uh, very famous and everyone can understand that his skills are good but like that here this captain here practiced a lot but then also now situation it is very dangerous and waves were <coughs> gigantic we were sailing with only small storm jeep and were still making eight knots as the sea rose uh, to the top of each wave we could see endless enormous sea rolling towards us so here uh, captain or the narrator is narrating the condition and um, the word it is we could see endless enormous sea rolling towards us it is uh, the visualization it is like that at 15 meters uh, height means vertically high and that it is uh, enormous very big waves understood enormous waves are coming in a way means like a rolling and it is coming towards you. You can imagine that rolling high, uh, top such type of uh, waves, they are coming towards you. And that is the size is very large, enormous. Then uh, she is rolling towards us. And the screaming of the wind and spray was painful to ears. And when that uh, waves will come, it will uh, means create such type of means when it will stuck to the see what will happen the spray and all that things are too much painful to um, observe and experience both the things uh, too slow 
the boat down, we dropped the storm jeep and lashed a uh, heavy mooring rope in the in a loop across the stand. So here now uh, situation we can understand, right? It is a requirement to slow down the boat and moor or the something uh, which is required here. Mooring means such type of uh, equipments are there in the sieve. If once we will put that equipments, then uh, at least we can uh, means with such type of waves we can save our life because such type of lifeline so many things here uh, author is mentioning then we double lash everything uh, went through our uh, life rough drill attached lifelines don't oil skins and life jackets and wet it means here uh, one heavy mooring rope the shoot that heavy mooring rope they would they will put into the water and uh, then it would be helpful for them because otherwise what will happen uh, they will also overboard and the boat uh, may capsize suddenly and there would once the water will come in then again uh, how they will survive so here that problem here narrator is narrating means uh, life jackets all uh, equipments here planning it is good uh, so captain is sharing with us that uh, we tried to face that situation along with the equipments in that equipments life jackets here it is mentioned then attached lifelines don't oil skins everything then life raft trails so all things are attached and now they are ready to fight uh, the situation because uh, waves were alarming and it is looking like enormous waves are rolling towards you so uh, situation was dangerous situation become critical uh, become worse but in that situation we have to be courageous uh, so confidence and courage and unity is very important means here captain is not only there alone others were also there and in that uh, children are also there wife children when uh, you are along with the family again there is more pressure that suppose you are not there you, if you would not survive okay but family members along with family members when you are going somewhere then again more responsibility uh, such type of means as a captain and as a father as a husband so all the rules now here he has to handle and he has to take the decision uh, to rescue everyone or save everyone from such type of situation so we will go ahead with next the first indication of impending disaster came at about 6 pm so here now uh, timing it is also mentioned in 6 pm what happened at that time 6 pm with an ominous silence and when uh, sometime when you are observing cyclone or such type of uh, storm weather means uh, uh, winds strong winds before that sometime such type of silence is observed and afterwards <clears throat> then situation would change then again suddenly uh, all I mean, so rain or all things may change sudden uh, like that atmosphere here ominous silence means <coughs> impending disaster or uh, ominous in a sense that something bad omen or something would happen in that uh, phase the wind dropped and the sky immediately grew dark and now uh, the clouds so we can observe the grew dark immediately grew dark then came a growing roar and with a roar voice so roaring here a tiger a roar so the word is used roar and an enormous cloud towered aft of the sea and now that clouds dark atmosphere so dangerous situation is now dangerous and in that darkness you have to again save yourself and ocean everywhere water you are in the water the land situation is different but when you are in the water and you have to save yourself 
it is uh, most adventurous and toughest thing to do then with horror i realized that it was not a cloud and then here uh, captain is uh, confessing that i realized that it was not a uh, not only the cloud but what it is that but a wave like no other i had ever seen so here sometime situation may come like that you have never experienced that situation a new situation or more critical situation and in that more critical situation also we have to stay on or we have to show courage or we have to take the decision in our also life uh, such type of phase may come and now the covid 19 such a type of situation lockdown situation it is also never expected situation the whole world is suffering with this means situation any situation may come in our life so this is also here uh, narrator or that captain is sharing with us that <clears throat> what is the wording sir that uh, but a wave like no other i had ever seen it appeared perfectly vertical almost twice the height of the other waves with frightful breaking crest and other waves are observed but now here uh, almost twice the height of the other waves earlier here 15 meters okay that we can observe so double means we can think that uh, 30 meters such type of high and vertical uh, waves whole means the such type of, and the speed of that waves would be very fast like the tsunami means you can understand more at how the tsunami waves you have observed so you can go and you can observe such type of situation so here tsunami like situation we can observe <coughs> then <coughs> with the frightful breaking crest the roar increased to a thunder as the stain moved of the face of the wave and for a moment i thought we might ride over it so here again uh, captain is clarifying all that observations and sharing the things in that for a moment i thought we must ride over it but then a tremendous explosion shook the deck now tremendous explosion uh, and when something hit then that explosion suddenly like whenever or some one will put the bomb and how the explosion like that uh, because of that waves suddenly something uh, such type of explosion it is uh, experienced and what happened on the deck a torrent of green and white water broke over the sea my head smashed into the wheel and so here now the pressure of the uh, wind pressure of the waves it was too much and here Uh, surely there would be injury so here injury it is mentioned what is that injury my head smashed into the wheel and i was aware of flying overboard and sinking below the waves and wave size was too much high so here double as per the usual waves and uh, perfectly vertical so here we can understand that uh, due to means they have attached life lines all that life jackets everything it was there but then also because of such type of situation they may go in the uh, sea also sometime and may again they have to take care to come in so here author is uh, accepting that i accepted my approaching death and here uh, narrator or the captain is confessing this confession is also important that sometime we feel that now nothing is going to happen so here also i accepted my approaching death and as i was losing consciousness i felt quite peaceful and because of the uh, my head smashed into the wheel so earlier event if we are observing so whenever your head smashed and you were consciousness means you would not be in the conscious uh, situation so like that here he was losing the consciousness 
so he was going towards the unconscious uh, stage and it was realized that now he was approaching towards the death so here i felt quite peaceful i felt quite peaceful in a sense that he was uh, now in such type of stage of unconsciousness so that situation we cannot understand what is happening so peaceful actually it is not a peaceful situation actually it is the dangerous situation then what happened unexpectedly my head popped out of the water a few meters away so here uh, overboard again uh, his head would be inside the water and popped out uh, that head and he might start attacking again the uh, breathing so here a few meters away way walker was near capsizing means upside upside down the situation of the boat is now upside down in her mast means the boat her mast almost uh, horizontal means the mast is always vertical but due to that explosion uh, on the deck and fast very fast uh, waves understood and here uh, what type of uh, the <coughs> the torrent green white uh, water uh, broke over the sea so all that things here already mentioned and now your author is mentioning uh, that her mast almost horizontal means the social total situation of the uh, boat actually it is vertical you can observe the mast but now due to the explosion now it becomes the totally upside down and uh, horizontal then a wave hurled her upright my lifeline jerked out i crashed the guard uh, rails and sail through the air into the wave walker's main boom subsequent waves tossed me around the deck like a rag doll means how uh, suddenly the rag doll or the uh, rag means the dolls prepared with such type of clothing how suddenly we can throw. like that here uh, author also tossed from that but all other things uh, were there uh, some securing things uh, with plant and uh, author here captain as a captain he practiced a lot so then also uh, what happened that subsequent waves tossed me around the deck and he the captain was tossed around the deck and like the uh, rig doll something uh, we can throw like that it, it was his condition it is observed and now again one more uh, bad thing here it is my left rib cracked and now the left part of that rib is also cracked already uh, earlier passage it is mentioned that my head smashed into the wheel now he is the captain his condition is like this head is smashed the left rib is also cracked and in that situation now he has to take the decision so here <clears throat> my left rib cracked my mouth filled with blood and broken teeth and uh, because of the pressure he means injuries in all that mouth is also filled with the uh, blood and uh, here problem the broken uh, teeth also so here uh, you can understand how is the situation the teeth are broken then head is smashed uh, then the left left here ribs also uh, broken then in that situation this situation is critical in this situation also he has to save everyone so this thing it is important that he, once you have the responsibility of others as a team leader as a captain as a family head then you have to stay on such any critical situation may come you don't think to quit the life so here situation it is like this that my mouth filled with blood and broken teeth somehow i found the wheel the line of the stain uh, for the next wave and hung on so here situation again uh, become deteriorated so here uh, author used some uh, words in the next water water everywhere so like this <coughs> water water every, everywhere water because they were in the sea means that ocean and now uh, they may not call immediately someone to rescue 
So like that situation it is there, everywhere water, to whom they will tell to save. So here I could feel that the sheep had uh, water below and I dared not <coughs> abandon the will to investigate. Suddenly the front hatch was thrown open and Mary appeared. We are sinking. Uh, she screamed. The decks are smashed and we were full of water. And now up till this year, a narrator was uh, talking about his own injury and here suddenly now again the appearance of the character that is wife's character Mary and here the front hatch was thrown open the end hatches you can observe uh, the you observe the videos of the hatch of the sea then you can understand how the front hatch or the middle one so all how it can open so here it is opened and what here Mary appeared we are sinking uh, she screamed and one more here statement it is important what is that statement uh, the decks are smashed we are full of water and the decks are smashed because of that uh, in that inside here now there would be problem the water would come in and once the water will come in decks because of the decks are smashed and then again new problem uh, would arise of sinking down so here we are sinking means now how can they would survive when water when water will come in that because of the decks are smashed and how can they now save themselves so again some backup plans are there so i am talking about the same that when situation would become critical we should have uh, backup plans so one thing this thing will happen then what we can do then next again situation will become critical then what would be our next plans so we should have uh, backup plans with us so that here backup plans we can observe in the uh, next passages we can observe uh, take the take the wheel i shouted and i scrambled for the hatch so here take the wheel means you take the charge of the wheel and then i will go and i will manage something like that here uh, larry and her were pumping like madmen so here already i have discussed with you uh, that is each and every person in the team it has equal importance so now situation is like this that uh, Larry and her, they both were working tremendous situ uh, means situation they are handling in proper way. So here they were working like a madman. So how here we can understand that Larry and her were pumping. They were uh, trying to take out that water. If they will not do that, then surely they they will they all will sink in that ocean. So that crewmen they were working. So we should also uh, have such type of kind approach towards everyone. Means the hierarchy of the post we can understand. But we, after all, we are a human being. So as per the hierarchy of the post, it is okay that whatever, as per his qualification, as per uh, skills, recruitment, we can do. But once that person will come, in your team and you have to behave with him as like a member of that and we should respect everyone so this is the important thing the important skill or important aspect uh, we have to manage then next again one more uh, thing here broken timbers hung at crazy angles and the whole starboard side uh, bulk inwards clothes uh, here crockery charts tin and toys slosh about in deep water means the material whatever it was there means that star uh, board everything here some material in that clothes crockery charts tins toys all things now it went into the deep water so this is again one more loss already the captains 
head it head was smashed left ring left uh, ribs it was broken then uh, teeth also broken whole means inside in the mouth uh, it was filled with the blood and then uh, the hatch or the all that here decks deck also it was smashed water started coming in so here crewmen they were working but the at that same time the whole starboard side blood inwards and all uh, material whatever it was there now it was in the deep water deep water in the sense that uh, everything now it is uh, it went into the sea or that ocean water i <coughs> half swam half crawled into the uh, children's cabin now uh, what is said that uh, take the wheel uh, take the wheel and uh, help here and now he would go towards the children's cabin and here surely there would be injury to the uh, children also crewmen both they are working like a madman they are doing, uh, doing their role uh, with utmost care and with hard work but here again uh, we can understand that uh, i half swam half crawled into the children's cabin are you all right i asked so here the, as a captain he is asking to the or as a father also both role he is playing here so he is asking there at are you all right i asked yes they answered from an upper bunk but my head hurts a bit so here uh, said so so here uh, susan is saying that Uh, there is a injury to the head so here but my head hurts a bit a bit means little bit hurt mm, uh, to the head but here uh, we can understand that it was not situation simple situation in that there would be major injury but uh, child is not uh, showing that there is a big injury or such type of problems because they are understanding the situation if in that suppose you are the member of that team and if you will always blame or complain or you will not cooperate the leader or whoever is the head or the captain what will happen then that captain may not get enough such type of confidence that when other members are cooperating then that situation he can handle or he can controls such type of problems so here situation is now again problematic that already his condition it is problematic he was also facing the unconscious state of mind such type of problems now so Su- susan is also here problem then yes uh, they answered from upper bunk uh, but my head hurt a bit said so pointing a big bump um, above her eyes and she pointed above her eyes that there is a such type of uh, bump big bump uh, above the above her eyes i had no time to worry about bump heads so here uh, i had no time to worry about that okay uh, something we can manage for that so there is no <coughs> such type of uh, critical injury or something so here after finding a hammer screw and canvas i struggle back on deck with us with the starboard side best open we were uh, taking water with each wave and broke over us if i couldn't make some repairs we would surely sink so here Uh, now it is the captain's steps means problem whenever problem would be there first problem then second then again next so here if we will not do means when the water level is increasing so we have to stop that level of the water otherwise surely they all will sink so what here decision the captain had taken we can understand so here with the somehow i managed to uh, stretch canvas and secure waterproof hatch 
covers across the gapping holes. So wherever that gapping holes were there, with the canvas, uh, with uh, means he, I manage to uh, stretch canvas and secure waterproof hatch covers. So this is very important decision he had taken instead of looking after the children, because if he would go there and we would become emotional and he would not pay attention towards the gap holes, then they would surely sing. So here decision making is important, that priority is important, so he had given priority. So when, uh, as a leader, where to give priority, to whom you have to give more time, and what is the critical situation, so this also we have to take the decision. Then some water continued to stream below, but most of it was now being deflected over the side means now most of the water deflected uh, or we can say that now he was successful to divert that water from uh, coming in in that seep or the way walker so here uh, this was the first and important step he had taken and that was the very important step we can uh, think. Now, more problems arose when our hand pumps started to block, uh, block off with uh, deb debris floating around the cabins and electric pump short circuited. Means the, what, due to the um, damage, whatever the uh, rock size or something waste material, whatever it is there, and due to that what happened here, um, our hand pumps started to block and again electric pump short circuited now backup plants were there to take out the water in that electric pump was there then hand pumps were there but now that is also not working so sometimes it happens that all the things which are your backup plants it may not work so here that is again the water level rose threateningly Again, the water level, it was slowly, slowly increasing, but that is now the situation, it is like threateningly, they, this, this is a threat to them that if we would not be able to manage that water to come out, means to take out that water or pump that water from the sea, it is the only source uh, to save that we have to take that water immediately as uh, as early as possible and then the water level rose threateningly back on deck i found that our two spare hand pumps had been wrenched overboard along with a first day cell the chief and the dinghies and main anchor so here uh, he observed that uh, two more spare hand pumps also overboard and now again the problem already hand pumps were there uh, Again, electric pump also short circuited and spare also hand pumps now. It is overboard. So again, problem. Then I remember we had another electric pump under the chart room floor. So this is again one, one more backup plan here. Captain is sharing with us. Okay, means we should not keep all the things at the one place. So here that in that chat room, wherever maps, everything, uh, is planning for that that chart room so here uh, then i remember we had another electric pump under the chart room floor i <coughs> connected it uh, to an out pipe and was thankful to find that it worked and sometimes when we are thinking that nothing will happen but when we are uh, applying new idea or some backup plans whichever it is there and it may work so here finally that uh, pump which was there in that chat room it worked and now there is some relaxation because when electric pump or such type of things would work then they can pump out the water easily the night drag on with an endless bitterly cold routine of pumping and steering and working in the radio we were getting no replies to our mayday calls means mayday calls are specially for emergency situation 
such type of emergency situation uh, situation they are uh, sending uh, messages signals to the rescue teams then rescue teams would come but due to the weather situation uh, they were not getting signal to send messages or they are not getting any reply to their uh, signals so this is the situation which was not surprising in this remote corner of the world and it was not surprise it was the situation they were in the remote corner of the world and so how they would get such type of uh, help from the rescue teams so here it was not surprise and he is confessing it was not surprise that they are not means he is not blaming the system so here uh, author or the narrator or as a captain here we can understand then Sue's head had uh, slowly and alarmingly. Uh, she had two enormous black eyes, and now <clears throat> she showed us a deep cut on her arm. When I asked why she hadn't made more of her injuries before this, she replied, "I don't want to worry you." When you were trying to save us all so here there is one deep cut deep injury on her arm but then also she was trying to control all that pain so if there is a deep cut means there would be more bloodings or such type of things would happen but then also uh, some children they are understanding the situation and when she was understanding that it was important to uh, help now father or the captain because he was trying to do such type of things to stop that water or uh, he was trying to uh, pump up that water with different different ways he tried he was trying so here instead of emotionally uh, saying that this is the thing happening so when someone is in such type of critical phase uh, some what we have to understand the situation so here i didn't want to worry you when you were trying to save us all so what was your motive what was your intention you were trying in such a way that you what was your final aim to save us all so once you will uh, succeed in your plan automatically whatever the cut or a diff cut or whatever that afterwards it will be managed so this is the uh, mutual understanding so one more again here factor it is we should have that mutual understanding among uh, the team members so here or the family members then all the things uh, would come to an end or uh, we can say that you can deal with any uh, dangerous situation or you can face any such type of problem or the adventure or unforeseen uh, things would happen with you you can manage that also so up till the up till this mm, the part one of the story so up till here second january uh, things whatever it is happened it is here discussed uh, in next video we will discuss about uh, the remaining journey so january 3rd onwards whatever happened up till then we will discuss in the next video thank you